Yeah, so I wouldn't be me unless I didn't delete videos from a week ago and used up my storage on my phone. I need to figure out a way to have my files saved to my memory card because I have a 32 gig in my phone, but I run out of room so quickly because it saves to my phone. So again, this is going to be a two-parter. <laughs> um, what was I saying though? Oh, Right, so it's not even that I think that I look bad without makeup. I just still tend to worry. Um, and the reason why I worry, I'm just going to be honest. Um, I know a lot of people don't watch my videos, and I prefer it that way. I don't like being, like, again, center of attention, a lot of eyes on me or anything like that. I just I do these videos for me. When I originally started, I kind of wanted them to be private, but my husband, you know, wanted them to be public. And that's fine. Um, but I'm fine with the fact that not a lot of people watch my videos. Um, but I know of a couple of people that do watch my videos. And I worry so much about how those people view me. Um, I just feel this need to be perceived a certain way you know not not like I'm pretending like I want it to be the real me but I I, I don't even know how to explain it I just I want to be seen a certain way um lately I've been doing a lot more with my hair and with my skin and I am doing those things for me don't get me wrong um, I've talked about it countless times uh, in other videos so I'm not going to go into detail about the things I've been doing but um, one of the res or not results but uh, one of the reasons why my hair is always pinned back or like in like you know braids or twists or something like that is because I'm I try to protect my hair as much as I can. And because I am a housewife right now, I don't go out very often. Um, I usually just go out to grocery shop. So there's no need for my hair to just be down and flowing and, you know, rub rubbing up against clothing and all that stuff. You know, that's not very protective. So I only wear my hair out or do something special to my hair when I know I'm leaving the house. Um, but when I come on camera, I want to look my best. And this is not my best right now. Um, right now I am <laughs> in a house sweater and little shorts and a tank top and no makeup <laughs> and my hair is like pulled back because after this video I'm going to go take a shower and I'm going to wash my hair and, and all that but there's no need for me to get all dressed up for a video but at the same time I always have to talk myself out of going overboard for a video um <laughs> I I know that I need to work on my self-esteem and how I view myself um and I have been and I'm actually a lot better than I used to be but I'm not where I need to be um I I have a lot going on in my head. Um, it's always been there, but as of late, I've been dealing with it more and more. And I, um, I opened up to my husband about it the other night. And I talked to him about how I've been feeling and, um, I guess ghosts that have been haunting me for years now, you know, things from my childhood, you know, the way I've been trained to think, deal with things, and it kind of makes me feel crazy, like, I don't want to say voices in my head, you know, I don't want to sound like a special case. But it's like voices, you know, it's me. I don't name them or anything, but they're there and they're loud. And I try to find things to distract me from them. 
and it can be really troubling and I'm at home 95% of the time and I'm by myself, you know, and I don't have anything to do but dwell on my thoughts and it can be really, really hard to be left alone with your thoughts every day for hours and I feel like I put a lot of pressure on my husband to be there for me and to be my friend and spend time with me. But frankly, when he gets home, he's tired. He worked a full shift. He just wants to relax. And I'm trying to get better with that. But I don't feel like I have anyone most of the time. Like, I... I have people that I care about deeply, very deeply, but they're far, far away. And I don't have anyone physically here. And sometimes I get sad about that. Most times, all the time, I'm sad about that. I want someone physically here, a friend, you know? I wanna be able to go out for air, but not by myself. My husband's tired, he works hard. I'm not gonna ask him to go out with me, you know? Um, I know he would, but I also know when he comes home for the weekend, he just wants to be home. And I don't mind being home at all. Like, I, I love being home. I'm mostly a homebody, but there's a difference between choosing to be home and forced to be home because you just don't have anyone. And that can be really lonely and It's bothersome. I I try to be there for my husband. You know, I know he deals with a lot. Like recently, it was his mother's birthday, and he actually had a really good day, which I'm glad about. But, um, you know, thinking about his parents or other things can be really hard on him. And I, I try my best to be there for him, um, be wise, give him advice, or just a shoulder for him to cry on. And it helps me to escape the things that I'm going through. And I don't really talk about them because I don't know how. Like, I'm talking right now, but I feel like I'm not making much sense. In my head, it makes sense, but it doesn't mean that it's coming out right. I want to be more open in my videos. I'm, I want to force myself to take it, take advantage of this. But it's hard to be transparent. I almost feel this need to keep some sort of shield up. I have to protect myself, my feelings and my thoughts from the public because the second that I expose everything, I don't have anything to myself and it's just out there and I'm vulnerable and something bad can happen. Because in the past, that is what will happen, you know? I also have this need to be needed. I need to know that I'm helping the people that I care about and love. I need to know that I'm making some sort of a difference because I feel like I can't do that for myself. I was talking to my husband yesterday, or actually the day before yesterday, about um, how I truly felt about myself. Um, and I feel worthless without him. I don't have any talents, you know? If we're being blunt, I can give you a really good blow job. <laughs> but what else, you know? Oh, Asia can cook really good. Well, if you spend enough time in the kitchen, anybody can cook good. I can clean, but anybody can clean up after themselves. I don't have any talents. I don't 
have anything that makes me worth anything. You know, I'm, I'm worth something now because I'm a Harris. I'm married and I'm someone's wife. I'm Mrs. Patrick Harris. But if I didn't marry my husband, who would I be? Without my husband, where would I be? What would I be doing? And that scares me. I am a submissive person. I'm a submissive wife. And I take care of home. And I take care of my family. And my husband goes out and he brings home the bacon. And it works out great for us how we have things, but I think a part of me is scared that I can't say that I can do it on my own because I don't think I can do it on my own. I get everything I need from my husband. He takes care of all the important things. I just sit home and wait for him to get here. Who am I without him? I don't have the answer to that because I don't think there is one. I think I am only something because I have him. And I know this and it's always in my head, but I don't say this, you know? Because to say it will make it more true in my head. Like, that. I've been thinking, well, maybe I should go to school and get a degree in something. Then I'll have something behind my name. This is what I'm good at. This is what I do. I could do something if needed. What can I do if needed? <laughs> get a retail job, you know? work at Wingstop again, go back to a clothing store. Does it make me special? I don't have any talents. I just know how to take care of my husband. I can't even give him babies. And I'm trying to get better with that. I know that we'll have children one day. We just need to work harder, do things differently, take vitamins, but I can't naturally do what a woman is supposed to do. So I think I go overboard with what I can do. I worry about if the food tastes good. Is he satisfied in bed? Did I massage him enough? So these are the things that are in my head and I'm working on it, but it doesn't change the fact that it is very true for me right now and it has always been. I just don't open up about it.